Hello, Assalamualaikum and welcome to the channel. Today's topic is Bombay Blood Group. In our previous videos, we learned about ABO Blood Group System and Irish Blood Group System. But none of these blood group systems we learn about Bombay Blood Group. Then where the Bombay Blood Group comes from and why don't we hear about the Bombay Blood Group so often? Let me tell you. Because the Bombay Blood Group is so rare. So rare that only 1 in 4 million people have this blood group. So rare that we even didn't know about this blood group before 1952 when Dr. I. M. Bhinde discovered this blood group. In 1952, a newborn patient admits in the hospital in Mumbai, now called Mumbai. That patient needs urgent transfusion. When his blood is examined, it cross reacts with all the group that were known till that day. That puzzles the doctors and make the base for the discovery of Bombay blood group. As you know, the cells have many substances, but the substances that induce the immune reaction in the body are called antigens. And based on these antigens, we have made two types of blood grouping system, ABO blood group system and RH blood group system. Now, I have made a video about ABO blood group system and RH blood group system separately. If you want to see that video, the link is in the description. We will focus on ABO blood group system in this video and more specifically on H antigen. Suppose this is red blood cells plasma membrane. This is H antigen. Antigen H is present on red cells of almost everybody. This H antigen is biosynthetic precursor of A and P antigen. If it doesn't make antigen A or antigen B, it is called O blood group. This is the lipid bilayer of RBC. This is a carbohydrate molecule that will be converted into the H antigen with the fucosylation of this gel structure by the enzyme called fucosyl transferase. So ultimately the enzyme that is responsible for the biosynthesis of this H antigen is called fucosyl transferase. When this fucosyl transferase adds this fucose to the gel structure of this carbohydrate molecule, H antigen is formed. And if this H antigen remains in the RBC plasma membrane and this is not further converted into a or B antigen, the blood group will be O. But if this fucose is added with n lactose amine, the blood group will be A because it will form A antigen. And if this fucose is added with galactose, the blood group will be B because this will make antigen B. This fucosyl transferase gene is independent of ABO blood grouping system. The gene encoding this fucosyl transferase is genetically independent of ABO. Fucosyl transferase is on chromosome 19 and ABO is on chromosome 9. Means you can have this like ABO and H are therefore separate blood group systems. How? Because you will have H or will not have H is on different chromosome. It is on chromosome 19 and you will have H, just H means O blood group B or A antigen is on chromosome 9 means ABO blood group system is on chromosome 9 and you will have H or you will not have H is on chromosome 19. Very rare phenotypes exist in which homozygosity for mutation in FUT1 results in no H being present on the red cells and consequently no A or B antigens are expressed on the red cells regardless of ABO genotype. Now see this example. This is father's genotype. His chromosome 9, there are two chromosome 9. His one chromosome 9 has a gene for uh, antigen A and other chromosome 9 has a gene for antigen B. So his blood group is AB and his chromosome 19 for FUT1 gene is expressing like one chromosome 19 has H gene means H will be formed in this uh, person and other chromosome 19 is mutated for H antigen means H antigen will not be formed as per this gene but because this is a recessive gene and he has inherited one gene that is for H antigen so he will have H antigen and now come to the mother on chromosome 9 he one on one chromosome 9 she has antigen A and on other is the gene for 
no antigen so her blood group is a and on chromosome 19 she has one gene for h antigen and one gene is mutated when baby will inherit both these mutated genes then he will have no h antigen and consequently when he have no h antigen he will have no a or b antigen which are formed after the h antigen have been formed so this baby which has inherited both mutated genes for the h antigen and his h antigen is not present in the red blood cells let alone a b o blood group because he is not forming h antigen itself this baby's blood group is bombay type blood group as i told you earlier in this video that a newborn came in the bombay hospital whom blood was cross reacting with all the blood groups that he was given because he has antibodies for the h antigen and that antibodies were reacting with the h antigen of the bloods that he was given i hope i succeeded in make you understand that what is bombay type blood group and why it is so rare we will meet in another video till then khuda hafiz